That's disgusting. Woo! Tastes delicious. <laughs> Alrighty, fellow travelers, welcome back to Adventures of a Traveling Dawn. My name is Benjamin O, and we are continuing our journey across the West series here. This is our final day in Denver, and I'm about to meet up with a couple of friends of mine, particularly a buddy of mine, Paul from Texas. We are going to be hanging out, and we're going to be showing you kind of like the local, local tour of Denver. You've seen some great stuff with the city park and the zoo in my last video, and the previous video before that, downtown kind of did all that stuff. Now, though, we're going to get local here in Denver. So first spot you want to stop at if you're looking for like some brunch or breakfast is a place on 17th Avenue called Humboldt Kitchen. It's actually really, really nice. It's got a great patio. It looks really cool inside, but the food is absolutely phenomenal. I had myself a, uh, a, smoked, a smoked salmon Benedict, which was absolutely amazing. Uh, a little bit of duck hash that Paul had. Tried some of that. Really good. The cocktails are fantastic. Great place for kind of like a, you know, a nice group brunch, is what we, which was what we had today. So yeah, definitely check out Humboldt Kitchen uh, when you're on uh, the east side of Denver. Alright guys, so we are here at the Botanical Gardens now for this uh, second stop, and of course I've got my uh, my two, my two tour guides today, Mr. Paul, an old buddy well, of hello. mine. What's going on, guys? And of course, Senior Brian as well. Now, we Brian, go. how long you been here in Colorado? Uh, four years now. Four years? Okay, yeah. cool. And you just moved here recently, Paul, right? Yeah, I've been here about seven months. Seven yeah. months. Oh, yeah, cool. So we are going to be uh, perusing the Botanical Gardens. So just kind of enjoy it. We'll just kind of like go around, and then we'll head out for some beers after this. But let's go and check out these gardens. This is freaking huge. Huge. So we just ran through a wedding, so that was kind of interesting. They were like, you yeah, know, just gonna, the bride's not here yet, so just kind of go through to the other side. I was like, oh, very cool. But like this spot right here, guys, this is freaking awesome. Like, Paul, you said this was... This is Chihuly. So Chihuly is a famous... Uh glass artist that does environmental glass art. The only reason I know this, I managed a glass shop for about four years, but yeah, this is one of his pieces. He also does the flowers that hang from the ceiling of the uh, Bellagio Hotel in Vegas. Which I've been to so many times. That's actually one of the really cool spots uh, when you're in Vegas, but this is really nice. So Brian, they do uh, concerts here? Yep, yeah, yeah. So I saw S Jose Gonzalez here back in 2019. They'll set up a stage right there in the middle and then everyone will just kind of gather around and everything. And he's an acoustic guitarist, so he had some good stuff set That's up. That's kind of cool. So there's like people just like sit right here on the grass and yeah, stuff? Yeah, yeah. So people will bring their, their chairs, their blankets, everything like that, and they'll just get set up all around there so that, uh, yeah, they can get a good view of the concert. Sounds like a great kind of like time. That's yeah. actually really cool. Oh, it was awesome. So from what I've read, that this particular, uh, the Denver Botanical Gardens is like in the top five of the US, and I can totally see why. They seamlessly kind of flow everything together. Like we're in the Rock Alpine Garden right now, and uh -huh. it was just a seamless transition uh, from the last spot that we were at. It was just each each different one has its own thing, which is phenomenal. But the way that it just, just flows, this is really, really nice. So we just reached the koi pond area. This is your favorite part, right? Yeah, it's mine. Is awesome. Yeah, it's definitely mine. Yeah, look at this. Because of the tattoo. Right? Yeah, because of the tattoo. <laughs> Show your tattoo. 
God. I... You're going to see a little bit of it. The koi man. The, the koi, koi man, man himself. <laughs> Jump in there, they'll be like, come me some. <laughs> <laughs> So like with probably almost any botanical garden I've ever been to, the Japanese style gardens, of course, is my personal favorite. I just love kind of like the aesthetic, the feng shui of it. And particularly this one, number one, absolutely gorgeous Japanese style garden. And then you come across just next to it is the bonsai garden. And this is huge for a bonsai garden. They've got, I think like two dozen different species here. It's absolutely fantastic. Definitely bigger than the one at Zilker in uh, Austin, but really, really nice. So something sort of unique going on right now is that the American Bonsai Association has set up here with the Denver Bonsai Club and their Japanese garden. They're kind of like, I think they're only here for this particular weekend that I'm filming, but they go around the country to different like Japanese gardens and bonsai associations and like set up shop. Like look at all of this. Like, there's so many crafts and these are all kind of like how to start off a bonsai. And they even have like some Japanese art. I know Paul was uh, looking at it. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's some like, awesome, awesome, beautiful, authentic yeah. stuff. It's it's really, really kind of cool. So I mean, I, it may not be here when you guys come, but keep an eye out for it. And you know, if you if look up, I think I'll leave a link in the description for the American Bonsai Association. That way you can kind of keep track of where they're going because they go around with like the bonsai conventions across the country. I didn't even know any of that existed, but this is really kind of cool because it's not just the bonsais themselves. It's all the stuff you need to kind of build your own uh, and start your own bonsai cart. Just phenomenal. All right, so we're done with the botanical gardens and when you're done with that actually come behind through the back entrance and come around to cheeseman park which is right behind this place is actually really kind of cool brian you said this is one of your favorite parks here yeah one of my favorite parks in denver it's pretty centrally located um you know a lot of good apartment buildings so a lot of young professionals live around the area it's just great to get out and play volleyball or any kind of other yard games out here. Yeah. They even have kind of like this almost like Romanesque Greek uh, pavilion that they built. Uh, this is now the fourth wedding that we've run into. So this whole area, Botanical Gardens and Cheeseman, seems to be like a wedding bonanza. And I've also seen, uh, you know, prom picture or graduation pictures. I think we just ran into another wedding photo shoot. So it's just absolutely massive. And these grounds here, you just have everywhere to play. Play soccer, frisbee, bring the dogs. It's a freaking awesome park. All right, so after all that walking, we're gonna need a brewski. So uh, we are here, where are we at? Friday. Uh, Cerebral Brewing Company, uh, just downtown Denver. Yeah. yeah, so we're right off what, Colfax? Yep, Colfax, and I think this is uh, 13th or something like that. Yeah, right yeah. around there. So. so they got a bunch of unique style stuff. Like I got myself kind of like a dragon fruit lager, as you can kind of see. I rarely have ever had a beer like this, but uh, it's made with dragon fruit. So cheers to you guys and cheers. Cheers, fellas. Boom. There we go. That's interesting. It's light, semi-fruity, but it's not sweet at all. It's really nice. They are known though for um, IPAs, like hazy style IPAs. So if you're into that, this place is really what you want to do. Okay, so because it's Denver, Colorado, we're continuing at our beer tour, and we're at a place here. Where are we at, Brian? We're at True Brewing Company uh, on South Broadway Avenue here in Denver. Uh, yeah, big bar community down here. A lot of fun, great brewery. It's awesome. Now I think this one, this one is kind of like a, uh, a heavy metal band. It's kind of like a, it's like like if you look around like all the artwork, it's kind of got almost kind of like gothic, semi satanic feel to it. Um, like they play heavy metal music the whole time. It's freaking awesome. And I got myself a rye lager. So prosh and cheers to you guys. Oh, that's so good. Hi 
guys, so this next spot is kind of very unique because it only happens once a year and it's for one weekend. It's usually either the second or the third weekend of June and that is the Denver Greek Festival. We are here in the Alameda region and of course they have a beautiful Greek Orthodox Church here with kind of like their signature gold dome. Really kind of cool, but they do this festival every year for about three days in like that either second or third weekend of June. So we're going to go around and we're going to have some kind of food, drinks, all that kind of good stuff and get our Greek flair here in Denver, Colorado. Opa! Opa! Licorice liquor, Uza. Not a fan, but damn, that went down. Woo! And some Greek white wine as well. Opa to everyone! Thank God I'm not driving today. <laughs> Is here. Mm, the fried donut with honey sauce. Take a bite, take a bite. Have you, oh, okay, we got the beer going on. Now take a bite of you. Take a bite of you, Euro. There we go. That's a big boy bite. That's a big boy bite. That's a solid Euro. Uh, it's delicious. So one of the things about the Greek festival here, and because it is connected to the Greek Orthodox Church here, it's while it is a great fun party, the church is still here, and during the time of the festival, they do open it up every hour upon the hour, so you can kind of go in, tour a little bit of the inner sanctum, which is absolutely gorgeous. Like, the frescoes above, the artwork is fantastic. Kind of shows like the whole history of like the Bible all the way to like the conception of Christ and the rising of Christ. Uh, it's really, really cool. And then they also do have, of course, some choir, uh, you know, some choir performances. that are absolutely awesome. So definitely recommend if you get the chance, it's free to just go in while you're here at the festival, check out this cathedral. It's amazing inside. Stand right behind you. Yeah, 
All right, so that was the Denver Greek Festival. That was freaking awesome. We're gonna go to one more spot to get something to eat, and then we'll end the video from there. But yeah, that was amazing. All right, guys, so the last spot that we are doing tonight is here in Viale, and this is, Paul, where is this? <laughs> You caught me with a mouthful of pizza. <laughs> <laughs> um, Southeast Denver. Okay. Yeah. We're Southeast Denver. We're down off of Colorado Boulevard. We're a block from my house. This is one of my favorite Nobody asked. Nobody asked Italian that. places Italian. A a of, of any place I've ever been. Best pizza. So if you're ever in the neighborhood of Paul's house, just go a <laughs> block away. Everyone, you're here at Viale. They actually, the, the, the store inside looks absolutely phenomenal. They do kind of like almost ne Neapolitan style pizza. It looks amazing. I'm gonna just go ahead and try this real quick. I just got a couple different meats with a couple different cheeses. Boom, boom. Oh, I love this. absolutely fantastic. Yay. That is amazing. Okay, I'm done. Tap me out, coach. <laughs> I can't do anymore. This was absolutely fantastic. The beer, the wine, just the, the Greek. festival, the food here. The Greekness. The, the Greekness, <laughs> all the Greek. And of course, the Botanical Gardens, that was absolutely fantastic. So, But guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this particular video. This is the last of the Denver series. We're heading off to Seattle after this, so I hope you guys enjoy that. Look forward to all of that great stuff. But in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. If you had liked the video, subscribe. give it a big old like. As she says, subscribe. Subscribe. Maddie tells you, subscribe. What are you waiting for? And of course, Paul says, Subscribe. Yeah, exactly. Obviously. Summer says. Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> so you have four subscribes. Get on it, guys. Anyway, I thank you so, so much. And until we meet again, peace out and have a great night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>